Well, this is the finished product. We have some high temperature paint on here. We're gonna fire her up to see if uh, it can withstand, if the paint can withstand the temperature uh, and not blister off or, or burn off. So we're gonna fire her up. All right, let's see if uh, the paint burns. I certainly hope not. A little bit of cardboard and uh, some wood. All right, let's see if we can reverse the draft on it. draft reversed okay. well it would appear that the uh, high temperature paint is not working it's blistering smoking off so don't paint your mini keg uh, this paint is supposed to withstand 1500 um, degrees And it looks like it's unable to do so. I think it'll offer some protection. Um, I don't think it's going to completely burn off the can, so it'll help with uh, some rust proofing benefits. The stove certainly works, but the high temperature paint does not. The fire burns great. It's drafting fantastic. You can hear you can hear the draft being pulled right up the chimney. Um, all the features on it work great. Khaleesi and La Montaigne, do not paint your mini kegs. Um, you're probably better off just burning off the initial finish. We'll see how this looks at the end. Burning very, very clean. And there is no question that this will heat a shelter, small shelter, tent, small cave, without question. Burning off the rest of the paint on the outside. Um, I think there'll be some residual uh, layers, and there might be a benefit to it, but certainly the venting, the chimney, the capacity of the stove, you probably get a couple of three inches once you have a small bed of coals. Without question, a great heating device. You can see on a small bed of coals, a couple of two by three inch pieces by seven inches long fit in no problem. Locking mechanism works very well. The vents are working great. Paint's mostly uh, blistered on the door and most of the top portion's burned. I mean, it's, it's been burning for uh, about 45 minutes or so. So, burn it for a couple more hours and you should be able to trust it in a tent. And this would be the product that I purchased to uh, paint the stove with, and it was gorgeous. But uh, in actuality, mostly burning off. There will be, a, there will be a, a small finish on it still that will help protect it. This thing heats like absolutely insane. All right, so if you leave both vents open um, after you've loaded the stove, burns for about an hour and a half. And if you close the bottom vent and leave the top vent open about halfway, it'll burn for two and a half hours. So, I mean, it's very hot and it just burns pretty much completely. There's very little ash on the bottom. So... If you're not heating up uh, any water, 
with the uh, warming tray, um, you can put a couple of rocks up here just to retain some of the heat so that it's not all flying out the flue. And uh, works great. And this is uh, a final look at the stove after it was burned with the paint on it. Um, I passed a little steel wool over it. I would say 80% of the paint is still on. So it's worth putting on. You're going to get some uh, protection from the elements with it. Of course the legs are fully painted still. And completely intact. Works great. Got about 10 hours on it. Um, seems to have full structural integrity. Uh, aside from the cosmetic uh, the paint, there's been nothing else wrong with it. Works 100% as a heater. Um, I wouldn't advise planning on cooking on it. But you certainly can uh, pasteurize water, oil water on your first light up when you have, um, if you have about 25% wood in it and you're letting the flames hit the top, you'll get a boil. Um, if you load up the wood and you kind of stoke down the flame, it'll work great as a heater, but it, it, uh, it's not going to boil the water. So all in all, it's a success for what it was um, it, its intended use. And the chimney system works out great and fits inside. So we'll have one last look at it tomorrow in a tent with the through the zipper application that I've made um, for the chimney to bypass the uh, tent fabric. Peace.